Hello friends, once again welcome to all of you. So today I am going to take concept related to metrology and quality control. Uh, small part of metrology and quality control that is sigma comparator. So what exactly is sigma comparator? So here is your sigma comparator. The diagram shows sigma comparator. First of all we will see construction of sigma comparator. What exactly is sigma comparator? Yeah, it comprises of a plunger, of a stylus, a retracting spring. After retracting spring, it has arrangement for adjusting screws. Two adjusting screws above, there is a diaphragm. In some cases, the diaphragm is not provided directly. A spring is provided and adjusting screw is there. After that, we are having over here a knife edge. Through that knife edge, we are having adjusting screws which can be adjusted. The distance of the knife edge can be adjusted so as to compensate the sigma block. What exactly is sigma block? Sigma block is nothing but two blocks, rectangular blocks which are fixed or which are connected with help of strips. One is fixed and one is moving. Yeah, to that moving block, sigma block, we are having attached or that sigma block is resting on Y arm. This is the Y arm, yeah, you can see the Y arm is having bronze alloy band. Yeah, this is the bronze alloy band up to here. This portion comprises of bronze alloy band. This bronze alloy band comprises of a roller drum. Roller drum is a set of the bronze alloy band that's a little like Karaki Kasa Javis upon her roller drum geto and her brass alloy band geto. That's a mother friction. There should be some amount of friction between the roller and the bronze, the bronze alloy band. Yeah, this friction causes the movement of when the band rotates, the friction initiates between the roller and band due to which the roller moves or propagates in clockwise direction. So to the roller rotating drum we are having pointer attached to it and after pointer we are having calibrated scale so moving towards working of sigma comparator what exactly is sigma comparator and how does it work sigma comparator is nothing but the device which is used to calculate or used to consider the reciprocating or linear differences in any of the quantities it's a comparator most commonly used comparator nowadays it is converted into digital form yeah but the basic concepts lies behind so starting with construction when there is any linear deflection over here that is when you want to do any linear deflection or when you are having any sort of a object for example what you take is we are having any rough object over here yeah we are to place this stylus on this rough object and as we move this stylus towards this direction what happens is there are some ups and downs provided to the stylus yeah the stylus undergoes some ups and downs yeah what happens due to the reciprocating motion yeah up and down motion of the stylus which is connected to plunger what happens this stylus or plunger is connected to the knife edge this knife edge in turn moves the moving block due to which when it moves up jeva he plunger works at the there is a knife edge yala connected screws ni tacha mule ha knife edge pan varti jaanar ahe moving block mule ma moving block pan var sarnar ahe the moving block is also going to move in upward direction due to which this y arm is connected or is resting on that uh, moving block due to which what happens this y arm moves downward and this moves upward yeah because it's moving upward it moves upward and this y arm moves in downward direction now what happens this drum is in contact with bronze alloy band what happens as this drum as this band yeah it moves in downward direction it is having contact with the drum the drum rotates due to rotation of that drum the drum is having pointer and this pointer as it is calibrated to the scale it gives reading of the deflection it gives reading of the deflection so due to this we can compensate or we can know the deflection linear deflection which is being carried out this type of comparator is very simple in construction it is having less number of moving parts it is more precise it is robust it is having less need of expert uh, to uh, handle this and it, it is having its own uniqueness in its construction and design it is easy to use is it easy to manufacture it is easy to repair and maintain yeah thank you